There's our first Lake Gunnersville bass this morning, guys. It's been a tough, tough morning. Got that one tricked on a six inch cream lizard. This one's got a, I believe he's been hooked before. He's got a messed up eyeball. Other than that, he's fairly healthy. And uh, he just took that lizard and swam off with it. I never even felt him, felt him bite. He just took it and ran with it. tried all kinds of things this morning spinner baits crank baits even even scaled down and threw some ultralight just to try to get a bite from something and the lizard has been my only bite this morning running in and out stirring things up it's hard to beat these bridges they hold fish all all year round at times and uh, it's hard to beat them Had a little miss. Had a little miss. There's another fish in there. I'm gonna straighten it out, put it back in there.
There we go. Old big worm hooked a big fish, I believe. Pretty good fish. Uh-uh, don't you jump all that. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I think we got us a good one. Come on in here, girl. Oh, I left my net on the wrong day. There we go. That's a little more like a Lake Gunners with a large mouth. Fishing a worm about the size of my leg. And that's a pretty little old fish right there. Check it out. How about that? That's what you come to Lake Gunnersville for. Two and a half, three pounds and up. That first fish, just a baby. Now we're getting somewhere. We got the sun up overhead. It's probably 12 o'clock, 12.30. Throwing a 12 inch worm. That's what you catch right there. Let's get her back in the water. Bye girl. I've had three bites today and caught two fish. So when you when you come out to a lake with a bait this size, you're not going after babies. You're going after real big, tough fish. And uh and that's what I'm after. I'm after some quality fish. I have no idea if we even get another bite, but when you can get one or two fish like that in the boat, it makes all the difference in the world. Got one good fish, well, looking from the back camera, got one good fish pulled down and run off with a brand new worm and uh, missed that one completely. I guess that's my fault. Got one fish on a smaller lizard, and now a good solid fish on a 12 inch worm. Maybe there's a, a group of postponed bass working this point. Anytime you come to Gunsville, if you can't find a fish anywhere else, go search the bridges. There's always a few fish around the bridges. That, that holds true with almost any lake or river system that, that we come in contact with. They simply hold, they hold the bait fish, they provide shade, cover, structure, they provide everything. Current breaks, somewhere around these bridges there's always a few fish. And sometimes the good fish. number one for today. I've changed tactics and changed lakes. I'm no longer on Gunnersville, but I'm on Forest Ingram's Lake here in Coleman County. Fishing a drop shot just to search for and find some fish. And now that I've found one, I'm gonna throw my bigger bait and see if we can't come up with a, a bigger fish. There's number one, lake number two of the show. And we're gonna get the little fella back in the water and uh, go look for a bigger one. 